Sarah Rogers here today and today we're going to test a product, uh, like a product that was sent to me and it's coffee base and it's this right here. We're going to test it out even though I had my brother test it out already but this is a liquid microdose coffee which is just like little drops you can put in your, well it says here simply take one to two teaspoons and mix it in with your favorite liquid or perfect coffee. Um, I told him to do the coffee version, so he did coffee, two little, um, I think he did one or two teaspoons. And um, literally he said he really didn't go to sleep, like this kept him up. So I was like, I'm going to test it out myself. It's 30 servings in one bottle. 100 milligrams of caffeine caffeine per serving so this packs a punch my brother agreed with it i'm gonna test this out and we're gonna test it with coffee i usually don't drink coffee because um i do get one hyper and two i barely get to sleep so we're gonna test this out and let me just open it because i want to see how it smells does it smell like a coffee okay it smells like coffee beans yeah it does smell like just coffee coffee bean but i don't know what co okay arabia i think it says hot or cold drops you can do it too um but yeah let's let me try this out with my coffee i don't drink coffee usually but when i do i want to keep i want to just be awake so we're gonna test this out right now okay, so right now i am making a cup of coffee and my puree and i did choose the cafe Rosello because it's basically our household favorite and i'm gonna get on the list so i'm going to make that and i'm going to take out ingredients to literally make my coffee and i'll show you how i make my coffee and at the same time but testing out the extra punch of these coffee drops. Seriously, this shit is mad loud. I don't know for what fucking reason. Okay, so we have our co uh, cup of coffee, which is I put it in clear so you guys can see everything. Um, for my coffee, I usually take the almond milk or soy milk sometimes, or just half and half, depending if I have my stomach pill intake already so we put a little bit of this and for sugaring i do the blue argave that you can also do margaritas with if you need it so i just put a little drop in there and then use my little spinner to just like mix everything up for a little bit and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a little um, I'm guessing we can get this one and we're gonna grab one to two teaspoons I want to see if it changes like the taste of the coffee if it doesn't then okay but I also want to see if it does have a so it's like a dark roast coffee Yeah, it's like a little dark roast coffee, and I literally just spilled some coffee on it. So yeah, it's like a little dark roast coffee, like the darkest you can have it. Cause it was my drink was literally like a little bit lighter, and now it's darker. I want to put a little bit more milk, just in case that was the issue. But let's see. It tastes the f smells the same, so look how darker it got just with two teaspoons of the drink. So let me just wipe this because this is a whole mess under here. And now we're just going to drink it. And throughout the day, we're literally going to figure out if it's a kick. I need more sugar. I don't really 
taste anything different. It just tastes hoppy. Which is good because some like caffeine kicker punchers, like espressos type of things, are literally more like a very, very weird taste. So this just having to influence a little bit more of the taste buds. It's really good. Yo, it really just tastes like fucking actual coffee. It doesn't taste anything too bad. If you want a cake or like an espresso shot cake, because I feel like this is like an espresso sh shot cake, but I will be putting the benefits or what it does right over here so you guys can see. Um, it does have a warning label. It says the J microdose is a highly concentrated coffee liquid used in small doses. So read it, please don't. If you are gonna buy it, just be careful with it. It has a warning sign. So, ooh, ooh, cha. I felt like a little bit of a kick from just taking a sip of it, like a little bit of a poop. Wait the fuck up type of kick. But tastes like regular coffee, smells like regular coffee, like a dark roast coffee. And it's already giving me a little bit of a kick. So I could feel the little kick of caffeine. So we're gonna check back. It's like one something, two something, like round two already. So we're gonna check back around three. And we're gonna check back around four o'clock and then check at tonight to see how I feel with this coffee. But if you do wanna get it, I really highly recommend it, especially if you're like working in the mornings and sometimes you're not a morning person and you want like a little bit of a kick to like wake you the fuck up. I I highly recommend this. Um just in case it doesn't have like no like hospital like sometimes ca caffeine is too much for certain people with hypertension so just be careful if you do have hypertensioners around there but you want a kicker and you want to again have a nice day of caffeine and going on the go take this put this a little bit inside your fucking drink i recommend this more in like coffee then it, it does say other liquids but it smells and tastes like coffee. So, or, I had a, a great idea. I'll be right back. Another way you can use it is as an iced coffee. I wanted to use this because I love iced coffee. So, what I sometimes do is get myself some water and put the coffee in it. Like, literally like an, an americano and put sugar in it and just put some ice which we have an ice machine right here and we got an iced kind of like a latte macchiato type of thing that is not have number I still taste coffee. Still take coffee. So like I said, you can do any drink with coffee with this. Except other things, I don't think you should put drops of coffee things inside juices. So I would recommend them to like put label like your favorite liquid for a perfect cup of coffee. So you know, just say your perfect cup of coffee. Because this, I would recommend hot and cold. As it says also in the bottle, it is for hot and cold drinks of coffee. So, I'll put a description below where I got this so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, test it out yourself and, you know, have a boost of caffeine since we gotta wake up early in the morning around 6 o'clock to go to work and do stuff. So, this will be the shit for you if you wake up that early and you need to wake the fuck up type of mood so 
I'll put it in the description and we're gonna go back later and see how I feel. So I made a mistake of not recording during the whole day. So of testing this product out, but I have been tasting it for the last couple two days and it has kept me up. It really is a kicker for my morning coffee. I'm like not a morning coffee people like that, like every single day, but these couple of days, the things that I've been doing, I needed it. It helped. It, it kept me woke to the point that I had trouble sleeping at night. So I advise you just a little less than a teaspoon, like one teaspoon I think is better for you. Cause I did two teaspoons um, yesterday and I couldn't even sleep until like five in the morning. So, if you want this product, go ahead in the description below, get it yourself, try it for a little bit of a kick if you're going on a jog or a walk, it helps you wake up, it did to me, I couldn't sleep and I I put a lot, okay, I put a lot. Just read the instructions and follow the instructions, because I clearly didn't follow no instructions. So, yeah, I'll put the description of where you can get it, purchase it. Um, make sure you're good to take it if you have heart issues. I don't think when you have heart issues, um, you should take it because there's a lot of caffeine and your heart will be racing. But other than that, it is good. I really like it. It's not a bad taste. It tastes like coffee without any sugar. So go to the description below and check them out because it's approved by me. But guys, I hope you for watching this video this review you can catch me on my instagram my twitter my tumblr even if we still use tumblr i do use sometimes tumblr. but you can find everything in the description below don't forget to subscribe hit that bell for the notification to be notified whenever i post videos podcasts episodes we'll be coming right back up we always keep leaving gaps just because a lot has been happening but i will be back momentarily will be a solo thing so yeah, I will be back very shortly. Yeah, I see you guys next time. Juices!